Alrighty, well, uh, well, after playing Vampire Survivors for a while, I kind of, I kind of came to the realization that I don't think I ever put out a tutorial video on this. Um, yeah, so I just kind of put in the cart before the horse here. Usually whenever I play a game for the first time, or at least around that time, I usually like to do a tutorial video. Now, I know that there's a lot of people out there that put out their own tutorial videos, but, uh, I also kind of thinking, I was also thinking too that a lot of the people that check out my content probably don't, you know, probably don't check out the kind of content that I check out. So chances are, um, the people that check, you know, that check out my stuff have probably never heard of Vampire Survivors before. And plus also too, um, unlike a lot of other games I play, I would, I kind of, I kind of, it's kind of bass backwards on this. I was actually, uh, putting out, uh, I was actually putting out content, putting out, uh, various videos before actually putting out a tutorial one. Now, um, as you can tell by the flicker there, um, right now, my computer is about as stable as nitroglycerin right now. So, like, uh, I can't, I can't edit my videos because Windows Movie Maker, uh, the video editor I use crashes now. Um, uh, various games I got also crash. So, this is one of the few games that doesn't, but it's going to flicker like crazy, so... But, once again, I thought I'd do a... I thought I'd do a tutorial video. Um, and then, um, for the music, probably one of the drawbacks of this game, although opinions vary, um, I'm not a fan of the music. It's like that 180 beats per minute, you know, that... If Castlevania was uh, EDM, you know, electronic dance music, that's what a lot of it is. I, I'm not into it at all. Um, and I was gonna, I was gonna fire up a, I was gonna fire up a soundtrack to one of my all-time favorite games, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, but unfortunately, it was copyrighted. So as kind of an alternative, I had to scramble around find something else. The best alternative I could find. In a moment's notice, was an album called Werner Wolf. It's a um, eight-bit, eight-bit uh, dungeon synth music, uh, A.K.A. chip tune. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on instead. So again, it wasn't my first choice. My first choice being Symphony of the Night, but once again, the music is copyrighted. So, and I try to keep my videos ad-free, so I can't play it on here. So let me go ahead and get that going. Whoops. And rewind it back to the start. Here we go. Okay. Let me do a volume check on that. Good lord, that sucker's loud. Yeah. Let me take that down a peg. Alright. So. And then... Okay, so, first thing I need to do, because I've been playing this game so much, um, I have quite a few upgrades. Now, one cool thing about this game, unlike a lot of other games, is if you, even if you, even if you max out your upgrades, you can turn them off, which is what I'm gonna do. So... This is going to be kind of a Tabula Rasa run. Or Tabula Rasa run, excuse me. Okay, apparently you can't turn those off. Whoops. So. Alright, so. Now that I did that. So, what I'm going to do is... This is the guy you. This is the guy you start out with, Antonio. Turn the eggs off. Yeah, eggs. You get those after defeating certain big-time bosses. So, but then again, I play this game a lot. So I've unlocked most, if not all, the stages. So I'll go ahead and start with stage one. 
turn everything off. So. Okay. Now, to start with, unlike a lot of other games, this game auto fires. There's no fire button. Your goal is to just basically kill stuff and then pick up these blue crystals. But you can't come into contact with the monsters though, otherwise you get hurt. Like that. I lost a little bit of health there. And uh, every time you pick up enough of those, you'll level up. And, and then three, um, three weapons or upgrades will be chosen for you automatically. Or it's, it's totally random. Now, disregard what I have on the right here. And let me, let me go back to OBS, make sure that you guys can see it. Okay. But disregard these. I'm not going to use them. You don't get these until way later in the game. And what you see at the bottom there, the weapons that are X'd out, I actually tried uh, disabling that upgrade, but it I couldn't do it. So, but I'll explain here. But eventually you'll get a you'll get a mechanic called banish. You can banish certain items like they won't appear in the rest of your run. And then at the bottom there, you can uh, choose to disable some of them permanently. But anyway, getting back to the task at hand. Um, this. See, it, it chooses out three at random, three weapons, three upgrades, and Miracle of Miracles. And especially if you're starting out, this is probably the best item you can get, the garlic. Why? See those little yellow rings? Now again, there is no auto fire in this game. What there is though, are weapon cooldowns. Hey, level. Oh, excuse me. Hey, level two. So now this garlic expands a little bit. So yeah. And then the little whip that you're seeing, it fires in the direction that you're currently facing. So. And then the blue bat that you see is a boss. It's got to take a lot of hits to kill, and I gotta move. Same thing here. King Bible. Well, I'm having some great luck this run. King Bible. It's, again, especially if you're starting out, very valuable item right here. And then... Okay, I gotta do something real quick. Flicker, flicker. And for the most part, this video was made at the spur of the moment. So I, not a whole lot of planning went into this. So, so King Bible orbits around the character. And as is probably obvious, a lot of these items that you're getting were, of, uh, were part of a Castlevania universe. Like the King Bible, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, it was one of the uh, heart, heart weapons. It would have orbit around you. Oh, this one does the same thing. But, um, one thing this game does have, though, are called weapon cooldowns. Like, if, if you can, um, if you can, de if you can decrease the cooldown on a weapon, it'll shoot faster. So, that game, this, or this game, does have that, though. And now we got a whip here, fires one more projectile. So now, now I don't have to actually aim. Oh, ouch. So 
Grab that. So as you can see here, it's just keep killing stuff and keep grabbing those uh, grabbing those blue gems. Now, eventually you should get an upgrade. Uh, it's basically a magnet, which will increase your uh, attract radius. And that magnet is pretty much a mandatory item. Because there's going to be a lot of situations where you don't want to move at all. Where you've got to have the gems come to you. Not you, go to them. I'm not getting it. And as you can see, too, um, every some odd seconds, more monsters get sent, and more tougher monsters get sent your way, too. So, oops. Take it. That, that lowers your weapon cooldown. That means these will shoot more often. Another item here that's pretty important for new players. It's the magic wand. It automatically fires at the nearest enemy, so... see here hollow heart hollow heart um if you notice evil the little text there what this means is if I can fully level up the whip to level eight that it's maxed out and then have one of these um you'll if you can find in your next treasure chest it'll unlock the evolved version of the whip but um I'm more concerned about leveling up my weapon, my current weapons, excuse me, because uh, I'm not quite at max level yet, so I'm basically trying to build a more solid foundation, so I'll grab that candelabra or whatever it's called, it'll beep up the area a little bit. There we go. A track door. So, to me, this item is mandatory in all builds. Because, again, especially later on later on in these runs, as you start getting more and more monsters, more tougher monsters, more and faster monsters, you're going to want to stay put. You're not going to want to move at all. So, you want to max out the attract door because you want all the orbs coming to you. Spirit Binder, it means my, uh, my crosses are going to stay out longer, but I already have, uh, I already have cooldown reduction, which is more useful, so I'll skip that for right now. Um, cl uh, Luck, Clover, uh, that's actually another very important stat in here. Um, unlike a lot of other games that have the Luck stat, this one here, it applies to all kinds of different stuff. From drop rates, to crit rates, um, 
do... I think there was something else, too. Drop rates? Crit rates? Um... But yeah, you know, uh, proc rates, you know, stuff that, uh, there, there's like a percentage chance of something going off, like a uh, freeze. This game has a freeze mechanic. Um, I think eventually you'll get some kind of buff to some of your weapons that it'll free. It's a percentage chance to freeze the target on contact. Luck will increase that chance. So, very important, but it's not not worth getting right now, like I said. I'm trying to build a more solid platform of uh, damage, range, and all that. So, luck can come later. And then, see the green guys? As well as all... As well as all them tulips? Yeah, those. Some, I think those are the kind of monsters. Their life, their life total, is based on your current level, like current level times five or times ten or something. Like I'm level, I'm level fourteen right now. So the greens off these green zombies and those uh, tulips, their life total is like 140 an hour or something like that. But their uh, life is uh, level dependent. And then also, um, with very few exceptions, there are no there are no missile attacks on here. The only way monsters can hurt you is by coming into contact with you. those green gems those actually give you more XP than blue ones there's blue green and red in a ascending order and it's getting tough and then, and then dis and disregard this again you don't you don't get this shop until way later in the game, so just ignore them. Oh! Flamethrower! And it looks like we've come up to our first treasure chest. Now, the way treasure chests work is, uh, they're gonna... They're gonna upgrade one of your already equipped items. And then... There's actually a long song and dance like it plays all this this boss, 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 music before it shows you what you got. But you can hit the cancel button to back out of it. That's something else. This stops time. Yeah, this kind of stinks. Here comes some bats. And then, the Laurel. To me, this is another mandatory item, for especially for new players. Whenever you, whenever you take damage, or I should say, whenever you, whenever you hit a monster, it'll, it'll, um, it'll make you invincible for like a half second. And, and yeah, you can upgrade it, That's it for me. So. And then normally, what you would do after the end of that run, you would take all the gold you earned and you would uh, you would spend it on power-ups. But like I said, I have everything up. I guess the apparently these you can't turn off. So and then um 
And then all these characters here. And yes, I have a bunch of them. But like I said, you you got to be playing the you got to play this game a lot in order to unlock these. But but all these characters, you got to pay gold in order to unlock them. So. But I guess I could probably show you show you my main character. This is the one I use the most, Poe. And as you can tell, his main his main weapon is the uh, is the garlic. 48 eggs. And then, um... So, yeah. But, yeah, like I said, I play this guy a lot. I play him more than anybody else. So, we'll just leave it at the... Ma we'll just leave it on the Mad Forest. And if you saw that... If you... Whoops. I don't know. If you see here, too, he's got greater pickup range. But on the downside, his max health is reduced by 30. He's got lower max health. So. And then I'm going to go ahead and do something here. So, hyper and hurry. This is kind of a rush mode. If you can see on the left there. Let me all look at OBS real fast. Okay, so it looks good. So, every this um, basically me and the monsters move faster, move twice as fast, and this the clock also moves twice as fast. So, and I gotta look at something real quick. Okay, I gotta. I'm gonna loop this music. In case I go over long on this tutorial. But this is also why I said it's um But it's also why I said uh garlic is to me pretty much mandatory. It's mandatory for new players. Um way later on in the game when you have more options to work with then you can you can try out different things. You know, you won't you won't need to have garlic as much. But you also need magic magic wand as well. And it looks like I'm stuck. So four seasons, you don't get that again, you don't get that until way later in the game. So Rune Tracer here. I believe this is available at the start. So I'll just go ahead and grab that. But again, I'm trying to play this as though I was brand new. And if you guys played uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you'll probably recognize that Rune Tracer. It bounces off walls and stuff. And then again, this shortens the weapon cooldown. And... If and when I can get my uh, magic wand maxed out at level 8, find a treasure chest, and you'll get the evolved version of that weapon. Whoop, ouch. And you can blow these up, or you can destroy those and you get a random item and and what you get out of them is also affected by your luck so the garlic are a little bit bigger now normally but because uh, I have all my upgrades turned off and stuff normally I'd be able to just sit still 
and just let all the monsters come to me and I'll damage all of them. But see, since I'm doing hardly any damage at all to them, I have to keep moving. And then just skip all that, and I'll deal additional damage. So again, if, if you can kind of see, the whole goal is just um, basically making a protective ring around your character. It's pretty much what you'll need at the start of this game if you're, when you're really new. I still need a magnet yet. that. Yeah, I gotta get out of there. So, oh, I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Back to that area. A whole bunch of gems. And this is also why I, uh, this is also why having a magnet is very important. But it seems the game is being a little stingy about it. need a magnet. And, uh, yeah, it is possible for, uh, monsters to push other monsters into you. Um, but, yeah, none of, monsters won't over, monsters won't pass over each other on here. So, so, yeah, you'll, I've had, I've lost a few, uh, I've lost a few runs, think, you know, thinking everything's going fine in Honky Dory, then all of a sudden, the monsters at the, like, the very outer edge of the screen are, like, pushing all these other monsters straight into me and end up, me ended up getting killed in the process, so... go. Yep, didn't make it. Was, 
pretty much done for there. So, but like I said, um, normally when um when I'm fully upgraded, I could basically just stand there, and all the monsters will come to me, and they'll all get killed in the process. But I will I would have also had a magnet as well that was fully upgraded, and all those gems that they're dropping would all come to me. And like I said, I'd hardly have to move at all. So. And then, um, one, one other thing I want to say, too, before, uh, before I end this. I, yeah. So, these are all the things that you can unlock. Like, uh, get level 5 in any, any character. And now, um, whatever you level up, wings will be an op will be one of the options for you. You know, and then the, you know, reach level ten, you'll unlock the crown. Um, then you'll unlock a new stage, and so on and so forth. So, survive one minute with any character. Here we go. So I kind of found a jackpot here. I forgot to mention this earlier at the part at the character select screen. Yeah. You have to pay gold in order to use them, but you have to do various achievements in order to just to unlock them. So, Giovanna, uh, and there's some things that even I haven't gotten. Uh, Concetta played them one time, didn't care for them. So, as you can see, you can, um, Well, I guess you can't turn them off. So, like I said, you can, um... Room Tracer. Yep. And this is... So, I guess my advice... Um... I... I want to... I want to say garlic was up here. I would like to think so. And then here's all the weapons, and then, um, I don't know if you remember me, remember me showing it earlier, but you can, uh, eventually you can seal certain weapons, kind of like what you saw at the bottom of the screen, all them red X's at the bottom, all those different items. These are, uh, items that I find completely useless, or at least for me, so you can seal them, and, uh, they won't show up in any, uh, level up screens. And um, something else too, um, probably unlike a lot of other games, um, not all upgrades work with all weapons. You know, like in this case here, um, the amount upgrade doesn't work with it, duration doesn't work, speed doesn't work with it. And it and this item here uh, clears the whole screen. Um, Best with luck only. Once again, luck, unlike a lot of other games that have the luck mechanic, has many different uses in this game. So, luck is a very important stat to get. But again, it's one of those where you, especially if you're a new player, you want to get established in your, uh, you want to build up your weapons first and the upgrades that support them. But And then, and then there's a magnet. Wish I would show you where you can get garlic. I can't even... Yeah, I can't even remember where I got it. But when you... If and when you do get garlic, if you can level up to seven, you get Poe. To me, or at least to me, he's the ultimate starter character. So... There it is. Found it. Yeah, so... Again, uh, you get floor chickens from a random drop. You know, you breaking various objects. What you get is totally random. But if you could find flat, uh, five of these floor chickens, I think chickens are fairly common in a run. So you get five of them, you unlock garlic. Level that garlic to level, or excuse me, get that garlic to level seven, and then you'll get yourself a pole. 
And then, a vacuum is another random drop. You pick it up and all gems nearby come to you. You find one of those and you'll get yourself an attractor. But like I said, there's many different weapons, upgrades, items, perks, all sorts of stuff. So... Uh, but otherwise that's gonna do it um that so that's gonna conclude the tutorial um I hope this ever I hope this helped everybody out like I said this I basically did this on a whim uh kind of a spur of the moment so a um, uh, short recap from what I said at the start of this video um I kind of did this ass backwards I just started creating a bunch of vampire survivor videos and then doing a tutorial afterwards usually it's usually I like to do it the other way around you know do it you know, maybe do like a short video or something and then do a tutorial afterwards, you know, that kind of thing. So, but, but otherwise, uh, once again, that'll do her. Uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now.